Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a really cool plugin. It's an instrument called Rave Generator. So I stumbled upon this when I was looking for some free VSTs today. And this is a really cool gem. I think you guys are going to love it. This is the second iteration, Rave Generator 2. And uh, I downloaded the first one by mistake. It was much older, a few years ago, and it had a bunch of problems. But they've updated the plugin. And this plugin is completely free. I recommend you guys to download it, check it out. And uh, I've made kind of a really cool little idea. And essentially what Rave Generator is, is it's a rompler. Do you guys remember Nexus? Uh, a rompler is something that it looks like a synthesizer and it might act like a synthesizer, but it's actually just a kind of a glorified sampler. It's a combination, some manipulation, but it's accessing some samples. Now, the Rave Generator is unique that it has, and the developers are looking for all those 90s sounds, all those retro sounds, all those sick sounds that you would hear, you know, uh, in a lot of hits or a lot of underground stuff. I'm sure a lot of these, I've only gone through like 20, 30. Um, they're organized here in the browser, but I've only gone through a bit. But uh, there's a lot of cool sounds that come in there, over 100 sounds that come in there from stabs to voice to synth. And you can also uh, use this as a sampler and drag and drop your files in there as well. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, just right off the bat what it's gonna look like. So it's you're essentially gonna arrive to this landlord stab. Let's hear this. Right, that has that retro vibe. So there could be a lot that you guys can do with this. I mean, you can completely mangle the sound or you could use it to maybe add a, a retro maybe human or old school vibe to your track. Um, there are a few options here, but it's pretty simple. So we can see here, you have your volume. And you have your pan left and right. You have a tune and a fine tune. So let's see this. Let's make a, a simple melody. Let's go to C5. So you can see there you have that semitone that you can adjust or you can do some fine. Those might come handy when you're going through a bunch of the files and or maybe a stab, you want to tweak it very slightly. And we can look at the other stuff. You have your ADSR, so you can make this more like a pluck if you'd like. So that's cool. It's nice to always have that. And uh, when we go to number three, it looks like we have pitch envelope. So you can do a pitch envelope. Um, let's see here. All right, that's cool. So you can make like a little uh, pluck maybe with the pitch envelope. Won't really be focusing on the pitch envelope too much. Really the heart of this and the, the beauty in this is really the sounds. Like the sounds are really the original sounds are what is like, gives this its, its core, but it's good to have those additional options. Uh, furthermore, we have the effects, which is cool. I played around with it a bit earlier, but it's kind of weird. Um, I'm not too certain if I would use this. You have a reverse effect. Seems like the uh, knob doesn't affect it. Let's try the filter. So it's like a small, like low pass filter that's applying there. And then I don't know what this is, Akai's. It's like a grain filter or something. That's really cool. I didn't expect that. Immediately, we're not even dealing with the original sound anymore. That's really cool. So let's show you guys what you can do here. It's very simple. Um, you can either drag and drop, or you can just double click. So a lot of these sounds are going to be like, some of them you might recognize, but most of them, like, I don't know, you know. So let's see here. What do we have in here? And you can stack these sounds as well. So you can, the more you double click, you can just keep putting more. I don't know what the limitation is, but... Uh, I would be careful, like you don't want to just keep stacking it, it's going to sound pretty bad. Uh, let's see here, techno, head. 
That's really cool. Lost in the house. You can see you can like, I already envisioned like kind of like that could be in some base house, could be some really cool stuff. Now let's leave this and let's take a look at this. That's very nice. I like this. You have a nice start so you can make the start right there if you'd like. That's really sick. That's really cool. This might be able to be automated. Let's take a look. Yeah, I, I believe you can automate this. So that's cool. Um, that's really nice. I would maybe position that in a such where like I would probably use it if, you know, there's always a good opportunity where you can move the start of a sample. So it's good to have that. The other options to wrap up the options, we have here the zoom. So, oh, wow, that's very nice. You can get in there quite close. Beautiful. Fantastic. We can't resize the window, unfortunately. So maybe maybe they will update that in the future. But it's really nice to see these options. Uh, really, really cool. Loop end, loop start. So let's see here. Uh, let's turn on loop. Just seeing how we can activate this loop. So when you turn on loop here, we covered the options. You're going to be able to drag this and create a loop based on the start and end point. So let's see here if this works. Ah, I see. So it's not a start and end point, but it's actually like a start and then where the loop will keep playing back and it just sustains basically. It'll play back the entire sample and um, that top S is going to just loop from its point to the end of the loop and keep looping it back. So here's an example. You can see that it's looping that very final part, which is really sick. That's uh, really cool to have that option. Um, wrapping up, we have this little... Uh, few options here we have a delay where you can control the amount of delay with the feedback um, I don't see myself using it too much but um, definitely might be able to use it maybe if you want maybe like a retro delay or something and you have the master as well you got your volume a master tune and I believe it looks looks like the pitch bend the amount of pitch bend perhaps if you want to automate the pitch inside of FL studios pitch automation there. So that's really cool. I really like the simplicity of this plugin. It's really what caught my eye. <laughs> the UI is kind of funny. Uh, and really, I like the the raw authenticity of the sound. So let's show some more sounds. Let's see. That's sick. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's see your hit house. That's sick. Everybody put your hands in the air. <laughs> That's really cool. I really like this, uh, this plugin, this rompler. Be careful, perhaps uh, have a bit of caution with the samples because since this is uh, sampling so much retro sounds, there is the possibility of like a copyright issue, but I don't think that would be a really a problem because it would have been sampled and sampled and sampled and then thrown into this. And so I don't think there would be an issue with that. But if you're looking for some raw inspiration from some old sounds, I think that Rave Generator can definitely give you, you know, a sick little like extra tool on the side. Why not? So I just took three uh, presets. This one was called Godfather. Let's hear this one. All right. So I took that one and I took this side. Why not? So I just took three, uh, and if you notice, this one says Ali Natum, and you can drag and drop your samples in there. So let's say you have like anything. You can just take a sample you have, drag it in there. You'll see the waveform, and that way you can layer it. So that's what I did. I layered my sound on top of this one as well to give it a little pluck. And the result was this. So really cool kind of atmospheric pluck. And I did the same with this one. This one in more of like a dinosaur, like, I don't even know like how to explain it. Zombie dinosaur, like rough, trashy type of sound. 
and both of them I gave them a short decay, but I didn't really touch anything else. I didn't go to this master, didn't go to uh, any delay option or anything. Uh, so let's just play this back. This is kind of funny. Uh, it has a little bit of cheesiness in it, but it just shows you the point that you can quickly get inspired from a plugin like this, as simple as it is. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the download in the video description. It's free. And remember guys to hit that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.